What's going on guys? I'm not sure if this is pushing it too much of the sun still being out or whatnot with natural lighting, but we're going to do it anyways. Just going to be a little quick update video. Uh, long and the short, uh, I don't know, just everything as usual. Uh, Tiffany still hit me up on Tinder, so I just answered her same question as normal, and then I deleted it, and then I unmatched it, and all that bullshit, because sick of this horse shit. There's so much shit she's not telling me that they're actually writing articles about that and are now doing like super goth, stupid bullshit because middle-aged horror shit that I don't care about. Um, to be quite honest, I'm more upset about whatever the fuck she did within the past few months that she can't tell me than all the other bullshit. So it's, it's easier just to, again, move the fuck on and just... She's probably not done yet. She's probably still got more tricks up her sleeve. But they're just not going to work because I can tell it from a mile away and it's just bullshit. And again, she's failed all of my tests. I don't give a fuck about her tests. There's no point in doing tests for someone who fails your tests. Why would you talk to someone who doesn't want to listen to you? Oh, what is this horse shit now? Uh. Yeah, it's just Oh, whatever. Anyways, uh so look, I I, I don't know what to say. Like I've got other shit to do. I'm Folk, like I, I literally told this bitch up front, we have September to get this shit hammered out because I have shit to cheat. I even told her, I was like, I can't go traveling with you to Korea for these reasons. And I'm sticking to everything that I did, that, or that I said I want to do. This dumb bitch couldn't meet me, she couldn't meet me 75% of the way. Anyways, I mean like, um, I just don't want to go into it. Um, uh, it's stupid. They're all stupid. I don't understand. Look. All right. Anyways, uh... <laughs> All right. I don't know. There was like a whole thing I was going to go into or whatever. It's like. Look, something tells me that like everything Tiffany does is monetary based. Like, I can't go into it and whatnot. But uh, again, like. I haven't seen Asha in like a month, almost more than a month. Um, well, pretty much since uh, she had that, uh, what's it called, sponsor type thing, and she called me up when I was getting my pen test plus and all that bullshit. But, you know, a little texting here and there, making sure she's okay and whatnot. To be quite honest, we might even like never be on that level again physically because it's kind of fucked up. Because it's like, yeah, I'm of the opinion that she was like luring me in to like hanging out by using the poly thing. Because like I, I personally would never do, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's not the way I do shit. I tend to just make, I hate to say it, but I tend to have like many relationships that just form into longer ones. Like even if like I was dating someone for like a year. If me and her got into a fight after the first three months, even if it was for like three hours or some bullshit like that, or even just for like one hour, if like, if we got into a fight and someone left angry and came back, I would consider us broken up. And if she was just able to like convince me that we needed to make up or get back together, I would just consider it starting over again from there. So it's like, I just see like a lot of mini, it's like in playing Tekken, you can do like 12-hit combos 
but I would just link together like a four hit combo and a five hit combo and a three hit combo. So it's kind of like the same thing, right? Four, five, and three is 12. But anyways, uh, all that matters is that you win the game. But uh, in Tekken. But anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I actually, again, I feel really sorry for Tiffany. I, I feel like she has some trauma or maybe she's been being blackmailed by someone i don't know if she's in the korean handshake club she probably is being blackmailed that's what they do i wouldn't be shocked if they are that's why they're trying to uh um or were trying to entrap me like look you... i'll say this again on night for freedom number two it was creepy as fuck a millionaire dude uh, who they're trying to say, you know, was like bit self-made Bitcoin mil millionaire. If you dig around, their parents are like connected. So like, again, it's just like Bill Gates wasn't the, wasn't the smartest person with a computer. He was the smartest person of all the rich people's kids who was able to have access to a computer in time to be used as the fall guy to make Microsoft and shit like that. Right. It's all a stage. Anyways. That creepy ass fucking weirdo literally tried to like hit on me and like hold my hand to like literally like pick me up and then like I don't know what the fuck that loser wanted to do. I fucking I was about I was about to hit that motherfucker. But I made I remember I made a big stink about it about how like all those events are just basically giant creepo parties and whatnot. And I was right. Right? So, I mean, like, she's probably involved in some bullshit like that. Those fuckers have literally been, it's so pervy. They've been after me for years, and I don't want to do anything, I don't want to be anything involved with them. Like, the fact of the matter is, the, the Mormons are Masons, the Catholics are Masons, the corporations are Masons, the Masons are, the higher-ups are, are, like, Satanic Masons. Like, once you get any level in society... They go to creepy, weird, satanic rituals, and basically, if you're a dude, that means you have to be submissive sexually to them, and if you're a female, it's even worse because you have more holes for them to put things in. So I just don't play their games. Never, ever, ever. I mean, there is a reason. What? Look, you should look into it. The uh, person who tried to kill Reagan was the outcast black sheep son of one of the families of the Mormon prophet at the time. Mormons are Masons, Masons are Mormons. So they were doing like CIA Mormon mind control on the fucker to try to get him to kill Reagan so Bush uh, Jr. could take over in the early 80s because Reagan was supposed to be a gold bug. And as soon as that shit happened, Reagan came out of the hospital and said, new plan, print, every, print money, spend credit cards, and let's go to Grenada and shit like that. It's all staged, right? But I'm telling you, like... These people are creepy as fucking weird. So if they're trying to use... I don't even want to know what Tiffany has in her in her closet. It's not my responsibility. That bitch wouldn't... I was willing to let that bitch in, and she wouldn't. So at this point in time... Like, again... They basically admitted... For her, because she's too stupid and cowardly to just talk to me. But they basically admitted that they talked her in to standing me up... Going out to a bunch of bars and trying to make eye contact with the right guy to talk to him to make the most out of trying to find a boyfriend. What the fuck you side of my DMs for you, stupid hag. You should have just left me the fuck alone. Okay? Anyways, I get the feeling that everything Tiffany does is monetary based. That's why she can't find anything. She has to buy everything she has. What a soulless witch. Just because of the fact that I've helped someone put their life together, and this is the most fucked up thing. Like, I honestly feel that if Asha would have never came to America, like, if the fucking Maoists would have never taken over Nepal and all that bullshit, that would have been the best thing for her ever. But if she would have never came to America, if she would have gone anywhere else, except for maybe, like, Canada, her life would have been a lot better. But she came to America, went to high school in America, in New Jersey, got fucking all kinds of retarded up and all that bullshit, and I was the first, quote, according to her, the first real American she's ever met who helped her get her... Get her life in order so like basically i've got someone who will at the drop of a hat change her life around for me and that's just one of the people that like is actually a friend of mine who i let in so i'm sorry if you've got 13.5 million follower friends but i've got maybe a handful of friend friends and that's what it is like i on the day of my exam i was willing and did basically be there for her in Baltimore and all that bullshit because real friendship. Just like whenever I'm going through something, she will drop everything and come whatever the fuck I need because of real friendship. 
I just don't, I feel sad for people who don't understand that concept. I'm sorry that you have to buy everything you have, but I mean, that's why I kept telling you that money isn't everything. You should probably not measure your self-respect in $20,000 pants. There's nothing that can do for you. You are admitting to going out and looking for other dudes after you stood me up. Not even before you stood me up. After you stood me up. So what the fuck were you still trying to find me on Tinder for and all that bullshit? You're a creepy hag. I, I'm serious. I never want to meet your family. And I don't ever want to be... Like, I mean, I would say at the very least you owe me an explanation. But now I don't even give a fuck anymore. Because it's, it's going to be bullshit. Everything you do is bullshit. So that's just that. And I'm going to go back to studying and all that bullshit. And just try to forget that Tiffany Wang even exists. Because it's just been a waste of time. Have a good day, everybody.